Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems video show coverage for the Hi-Fi Show Live 2018. Make sure to go and visit our website for Hi-Fi news, reviews and more. We'd like to thank our show coverage sponsors, Telerium Q Cables, for helping us make this show coverage possible. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Dave Gordon. I'm from Audi Research and uh, we're based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, I've been with the company since 1989. So I'm pretty familiar with everything we've done. If, uh, uh, if you have any questions, I'm available afterwards. But it's, um, uh, if you ever come out to, to Minneapolis, we're in the middle of the country, but we have a lot of corporate headquarters there. Uh, please come out and see us. We'd love to give you a tour. I'll give you the tour probably. And I'll let you listen to a bit of music too. It's, the reason you really want to see it is because we do everything in-house. Uh, we have the metal work made for us, but everything else beyond that is, is uh, something we handle internally and we um, we actually craft every product today as we did in 1970 when we were founded. We hand install every component in every board. We hand solder and hand trim and it's it's uh, it's very very unusual in this industry. No, normally things are built for you and you assemble them. We don't um, and we design a lot of the products at uh, the uh, parts inside. We design transformers, capacitors, wire, things like that. Like most of high-end audio, we're control freaks. And uh, so we're tr trying to do as much in-house as possible. We have our own design team. We don't farm out. So what we want is continuity. And uh, so if you listen to this system now, you can buy smaller components from us and they will sound very much the same in that they won't sound different. The bigger products just have more dynamics and play have more resolution but they don't sound different from each other, they shouldn't. And uh, that's a thing to, something to keep in mind. We, um, we can still fix a 48-year-old product. We can fix virtually any two product we ever made, and uh, we're very proud of that. Because these are not inexpensive products, so the only way to maintain value is to be able to service them. Um, so what we have in the system today is, is very simple. It's, uh, we have a reference 10, which is our top-end line, line stage preamp. It's uh, two chassis. We have a, a power supply in one chassis, and we have an analog section in the other. Once we go in with the power cord, <coughs> it's the truly dual mono, two independent channels, tube regulation in the power supply, tubes in the power supply, and tubes in the analog section. And uh, single gain stage, uh, feedback free, and uh, pure class A. And actually, that's true of all of our preamps. They're, they're all designed like that. The ref uh, 10 is feeding a pair of ref reference 160M mono blocks. These are new for us. And we've been doing reference products for 25 years. And uh, this is really not an evolutionary step, it's a revolutionary step for us. Aesthetically, because it's, it's, a, it's a different different look. We have a, the first transparent meter. So we were, uh, everyone loves meters. We like meters. Uh, but we wanted to be able to see the tubes. So this way with the uh, with the etch, etching inside the, the acrylic, uh, the LEDs light it up and make it pop. So it's, uh, it's very dimensional. Uh, but internally, that's where the biggest changes come. We, uh, we've done some very different things. This is the first reference amplifier with an auto bias circuit. And that means that the, the bias is always maintained even as the tubes age and also as line voltage changes, even from day to day or you know day to night. And uh, systems always sound better at night when the factory is shut down. So, uh, so that, that's, we want to maintain that consistency. The tubes will last about 3,000 hours, and they stay sonically really very similar uh, along those lines from beginning to end. 3,000 hours is about six years of listening for, actually, a lot of listening. So it's a long time. We have a tube out, tube hour meter on the back, so you don't have to be paranoid about how many hours you have on the tubes, especially after three or four years. Um, this amplifier is switchable, ultralinear and triode. So ultralinear, it's 150 watts a channel, triode, it's 75 watts a channel. And it's different mo modes of operation. The, uh, we're running ultralinear today because we need the higher power. Big room, lots of bodies. Peter plays things at realistic levels. Uh, so we could, you could also listen depending on your speakers, your listening room, um, and your music. You can listen in triode. And it's very simple. You simply push a button on the front when uh, when the amps are on, and uh, 
There are fuses for each of the tubes, things like that. We've made it uh, a very safe product to use. We want people to be able to go home, just play and use it, not worry about anything. This is what it's about. It's about involving you being your decompression chamber, helping you relax. And uh, we believe in very wide bandwidth, very big dynamics, large power supplies, and, uh, and very, very full range. Uh, you'll be surprised what they do. Uh, this is a really great system because we're teamed quite a bit with DCS. It's the best digital you can get. Um, we use a pair of Alexia 2s in our factory. Uh, we listen to everything before it goes out in addition to all the testing. So, um, you know, this is, uh, this is a great system. We also have transparent cable in our system too. So, uh, hope you enjoy what you hear and um, I'm introduce you to DCS. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. Um, I'm Raf from DCS. Now, DCS are, we, we are based out of uh, Cambridge in the UK. Uh, so that's where the headquarters are, the factory is. So all, everything we do is uh, done at base there. So all the hardware, software, mechanical design, everything we do and all the manufacturing is uh, done at the factory. Now at the, what we're showing here is a pretty exciting time for us. We've got a couple of new products that we're showing. Uh, and the first one being the unit at the very top here which is our Rossini CD SSCD upsampling transport, which brings uh, SSCD playback capability to our Rossini range. Now, the transport is then connected to the uh, Rossini DAC, and then we have a external master clock, which is the Rossini clock, which is connected to both of these units here as well. So that makes it a complete setup. Now, from the Rossini, um, majority of the, all the electronics in there, so they're all, uh, it just has a lot in common with our flagship Vivaldi system, which we've got on uh, display in the room at the back there. So that's our flagship four box uh, stack with the transport, separate up sampler, separate DAC, and then a clock to go with it as well. So that's how we normally, when we uh, come out with a new platform, it always starts with the flagship, and then everything trickles down further down the range as well. So with the Rossini that you, uh, you'll be listening to, it's an all-in-one solution offering optimum performance from any source. Um, so you've got CD, SSCD. Now when you're listening to CD, it's being upsampled to a higher resolution. Uh, you have a choice of DSD, DXD or double DSD. And then the DAC in itself, it is a uh, network streamer as well. So it benefits from uh, state-of-the-art streaming electronics. It's got a network input enabling you to stream music from a NAS, which we'll be doing as well as part of the demonstration, uh, from a hard drive. It offers online streaming services from Tidal, Spotify, and even for convenience, it has features like AirPlay on it as well. Now, at the heart of the DCS system, there's two key technologies that we have. Firstly, being uh, upsampling, which we pretty much pioneered in the early 90s, uh, and that goes back to the days when we were involved with designing and manufacturing converters for the, for the recording industry, um, for studios. And then at the core uh, heart of the system, which pretty much whichever level you're going at, the core heart is something that we call the, the ECS ring DAC. Now many manufacturers will use off-the-shelf DAC, so off DAC chips, uh, but with us we don't use DAC chips as such, we use our own proprietary design called the ring DAC. It's a circuit, and as it's our own, there is no limitations around it, and it just continuously keeps on evolving with time. Now one of the key features uh, of our products is the upgradability. As you can imagine, digital is changing at a very, very fast pace. Every day there's new file formats, new uh, ways of streaming music online, um, high resolution files. Now, when you're investing you know, this level of money, um, what we, the way we look at it is, it's the last thing you want is in a year's time, your system's out of date, it can't you know, cope with the changes, changing demands in the market and you're having to look for trading to go for the next level up. But with DCS products, once you've made that investment, you will be living with it for many, many years to come. And how we do that is by means of software updates. So when there's an update available, just go into the app, hit the button, download the software, and by means of that, sometimes we can offer performance enhancements or add new features to it. So, so basically, typical lifespan for our products is anywhere between seven to 10 years. So five years down the road, your product will still be current at all times. So another product we also have, we are launching at the show is uh, our the DCS bar talk. There's two versions of it. So that's the baby brother of our Rossini DAC over here. So in terms of functionality, it does pretty much everything that the Rossini does. Uh, and that's in the live system in the room at the back there. So when you make your way through, please do uh, uh, spend some time and give it a listen. And then we have another version of the bar talk, which uh, has a headphone amplifier, which we've designed in-house by ourselves. So that's our very first product for the headphone worlds. 
is something very, very new to us and we're stepping into that world as well now. Now, just to finish it off, now one of the things that I mentioned was software updates. Now another, uh, we've just, in the, we're in the process of uh, working through a new kind of software for our Rossini DAX. So any of our customers who have Rossini players or DAX, in the forthcoming weeks, they'll have an update available online, which will literally be, what we've done is we've introduced, we call it the 2.0. So it takes our Rossini range to the next level up in terms of performance. Once you do the software update, it's a new algorithm, which is our own again, and it literally will give a substantial leap in performance. And many of our customers who have the Vivaldi, the Vivaldi customers benefited from that update about a year and a half ago, and the response we got from customers was absolutely phenomenal. So that's just about very soon to happen, uh, to happen with the receiving range as well. So if anybody has, has any questions, please do give us a shout. In the meantime, I'll pass you on to my good friend Peter here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as he said, my name is, uh, hi Gar, how are you? <laughs> my name is Peter McGrath and I'm with uh, Wilson Audio. I've had the pleasure of attending every one of these shows from their inception. And this will be the last one here, as I understand, and then we're moving to another venue next year where there'll be more chaos and confusion. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I welcome you all. And uh, um, I'm here to talk about the Wilson speakers, but I also want to keep what I say very brief so that we can engage uh, with music uh, more readily. Um, but I do have to say a few things. The speaker here is called the Sasha D-A-W, and it represents the ninth in a series of products in the category of what was first defined as the Watt Puppy. A show of hands, how many people are familiar with Wilson speakers in the room? Okay, so you have some sense of our history. And uh, with that in mind, perhaps you may or may not know, uh, this year, this past March, uh, our founder, David Wilson, passed. And uh, um, he was a friend, very close friend of mine for 41 years. Um, but anyway, he's, he's gone, but he and the company had the good sense long before his passing, to establish his son as the chief engineer of the company seven years ago. And that array of loudspeakers in the back there, the little tiny ones on the table, they're called tune tots. Those are designed by Daryl, Daryl Wilson. The bigger one next to it is the Alexia Series 2, also designed by uh, Daryl. Then the Yvette speaker next to it, a Daryl Wilson design. And then the other speaker, the uh, Duet Series 2, along with three other models that are not in this room, were all designed by Daryl Wilson. Um, so we're in rather capable hands. And this is Daryl's newest creation. And what it is, it's taking the most current version of a speaker that his father originally designed in the form of the Watt Puppy. And in fact, Dave designed the Watt Puppies all the way through the Watt Puppy 8. And then Daryl designed the first Sasha. This is now the third in a series of Sashas, so um, it's, it's quite an extraordinary thing. I won't bother you with the details regarding it. I'll let the speaker uh, speak for itself. But I'd like to start off.
sublime thing to something utterly ridiculous. Uh, another female vocal, if you will, but in this case a, a woman from South Africa by the name of Malia, and she teams up with uh, Boris Blank. Uh, any of you know Yellow? He's the noisier part of Yellow, and uh, this is kind of fun, and it's all process, wonderful nonsense. Um, but what really uh, it's kind of exciting is that it gives us an opportunity to show how the speaker, even though it's relatively small, uh, small by our standards, we make very, very big speakers as well, but it will create an image that spreads from <coughs> wall to wall, floor to ceiling, and maybe 20 feet behind the loudspeaker. Um, regrettably, what will also happen, and I, we have, can't fix it, is that uh, we've loosened every ceiling tile in this room, so they all try to sing along <coughs> with it. So you hear a lot of buzz. And in fact, I think we've created quite a buzz at the show. This is what it's all about. Okay. This is just a little thing taken from the Mozart Requiem, and it's the Tuba Miriam, and it's a, uh, it's really extraordinary singing, with uh, other nice things.
for listening. That's all we have time for. Hope you enjoyed it. Next year, the Hi-Fi Show Live moves to Royal Ascot, where even bigger and better things are being planned. See you all there next year.